Hello and welcome to another Inertial Drift tutorial video. This time we're going to be looking at the Raptor. So Raptor is for probably most tracks the best A-class car in the game though. It is beat out by Soprano on a few other, a few of the uh, circuit tracks. So the Raptor's biggest strength is one, it's really insane acceleration. Just, it's maxed out, it's perfect. Uh, and two, it's very high top speed. High acceleration and high top speed means you can get up to top speed very, very quick. This is good. <laughs> its top speed isn't quite uh, what the Sopranos is. The Sopranos is slightly more. And because of that, on tracks that can make advantage of the Sopranos top speed, that's where the Soprano will beat out the Raptor. Uh, but everything else, Raptor wins. So, um... This stat page is kind of a big lie, uh, because it says its handling is bad, and this is kind of true in the sense that if you're not drifting, it's nearly impossible to get around any corners, but the Raptor is very, very good at drifting. It will instantly go to a 90 degree angle, basically allowing it infinite cornering, and then can reset to straight instantly by tapping brakes. This means it can get around corners super fast and barely decelerate while doing it. It does make it hard to drive, and it also makes it more prone to spinning. Um, I'll go into spinning more right now, I guess, actually. So, number one thing to avoid spins is you go to settings, you go to gameplay. It's not in gameplay, it's in visual. And go to frame rate, set this to unlimited. Absolutely do not set it to 30. 60 is playable, but if you can afford, if you have a good enough computer, if pay to win, uh, then set it to unlimited. The reason for this, and the, the exact mechanism behind it isn't exactly known, uh, but it is known that the Raptor is much more prone to spinning out on lower frame rates. So the higher you can get that frame rate, the better. And if you want to disable some graphic settings, if you think that will give you a few more frames, it's worth doing because losing runs to spinning out, it's kind of infuriating. And I'm not really a fan of this car for this reason because it kind of is a pay to win car, but it's reality. So I'm putting it in the tutorial to not put it there would be lying to you. And I'm not going to do that. All right. To show off the Raptor, I'm going to be showing it off on Sunset Sea Circuit uh, because this track has a lot of force slowdowns. Uh, the Raptor's frankly insane acceleration is able to really push it up there. And you can see, despite being a circuit track, which is something the Soprano usually wins because of its top speed, which allows it to get super good rolling starts, the Raptor still wins because its acceleration out of those hairpin sections is kind of insane. And actually, I've got to show it off on circuit reverse because I think that shows it off even better. Um, because it shows it off with the... Actually, no. I think Circuit 4 shows it off better. Don't listen to me. Anyways, let's get started and look at the Raptor. <laughs> you can see a little taste of the Raptor's dress right there. And unfortunately, most other cars, they wouldn't have to do a steep drift there to get around. And even there, they probably wouldn't have to drift at all. Uh, Raptor's unique in this sense. Uh, that basically has to drift for every corner, but I'm actually going to restart this because it's kind of messy. But if you get good at it, then you barely decelerate doing it. And since you accelerate so fast, it's still really, really fast. It ain't that neat. Um, you might notice I sort of do my drifts in a very specific way. Uh, this is all about what works best for me. I don't think it's necessarily the best way, but basically I hold down, uh, the drift stick before actually let off, you know, letting off gas to start a drift. Basically, I hold down the stick, let off gas, uh, and then put on gas once I get to a steep enough angle. Uh, I just find this more comfortable, and I find I get better results doing it, but I don't think it offers any speed advantage doing it this way. In fact, I would think it would offer a bit of speed disadvantage, because you are actually accelerating less fast than uh, you would if you were not drifting, because... As I've said in my other videos, minimizing drifting is good for acceleration. But you can see, 
Raptor really struggles with these really gentle corners because other other cars can just blast around them without issue. But Raptor really needs to work for them. And that's its biggest problem. And the spinning. Um, but, and so it's a very difficult car to drive because actually getting used to this style of gameplay, you can see, like, even despite I have some really solid Raptor times, I'm still messing up because it's just really genuinely hard. And I'm trying to commentate. Let's give myself that excuse. But yeah, it's not easy. I'll do a lot, another lap. Not really for any extra commentary. Um, because Raptor's a pretty simple car. There's not much to it. You just you just drive and drift. It's all about reflexes and timing. Uh, but just to show off what a better lap can look like. You can see, yeah, I'm resetting to straight by tapping brakes. And you can see I could actually use the brakes as well to actually change my drift angle to the other side, which is good for, like, chicane-style turns like that and like this, where you brake when you want to switch directions, being able to get around like that. And just try and keep those drifts as short as possible. Um, there's only so much you can do with the Raptor because it's got a drift for everything, basically, but... The more you can avoid drifting, the better. As with any car. That's a lot of fun, actually. I love that corner. So, again, Raptor is actually one of the more simple cars in this game. Uh, because of this. Um, so, I don't really have much more to talk about. It's sort of self-explanatory. Actually, I do have something more to talk about. And you saw it right there. Um, which is, if there's a corner where uh, it's just a bit too steep to do in like several small drifts, but also not steep enough to do in a single drift, you can actually like drift and then decrease your angle mid drift by letting off the gas and tapping the stick. Obviously, don't do it here, I'm just showing it off, but you can see I'm just changing my angle back and forth. And that's useful in a lot of turns. That's useful for something like the. Uh, little stone bridge turn in uh, the forest section of Kirino, both Mount Kirino and Kirino Forest. Uh, you need to do that, and there's a few other turns. Uh, you also do it on the first corner, or like the first tight corner of this track, which is what remind me about it. But that's about it for the Raptor. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or if you think there's anything I missed in the comments. Otherwise, thank you and goodbye.